Now, isn't this a beautiful garden? You might think I'm standing somewhere in a cottage garden in England, but this is actually in America, but has very much the romantic feel of an English cottage garden. Now, what makes this work are several things. One, I love this soft curved path that you come along. As you come around, more and more of the garden is revealed. Of course, these beautiful arbors help support the roses, and there are five of those that carry you down this series of steps. These are made of copper tubing. There are three bands of copper that come across and they're connected, and that gives some really strong support for these enormous, robust roses. Now we're surrounded by a wall of green with yews and various shrubs behind. And of course, this green turf band that you walk on further makes this garden more harmonious. But then within that space between the backdrop and here, we have all these gorgeous tree roses that are spilling in and making this garden feel even more abundant. And then if you look along the border, you can see that there's catnip or nepeta, and it creates a continuum all the way up. And there are other bedfellows or companions in this you can see, such as the campanula. And then there's this lychnus coronaria with its intense magenta blooms. Now, the foxgloves are finishing up, but soon to follow, there's phlox as well as hollyhocks. So this garden is going to be in bloom throughout the entire summer. Now back to the roses for just a moment. What they have here is a wonderful range of antique all the way up to many of the new hybrid roses. They're in tree form, climbers of course, as well as shrub roses. And the aroma here is incredible. There's also clematis entwined with the roses which add to that whole romantic feel. Now what I think is brilliant about this is the curved path and it is a connector or a pathway from one garden room to the next.